Hello everybody, getting ready for King of the Hammers leaving on Monday after uh, Super Bowl and you can see right here I'm two hours away from King of the Hammers and it's raining outside so it's going to be muddy out there. I wanted to show you some areas where you uh, may want to camp. Got the motorcycle ready to go, fuel, generator, and then we're taking the big trailer which is getting drenched over here on the side of the house. <clears throat> so. On the map over here, you're gonna come in off of uh, 247 like I talked about, and then you're gonna go to Boone Road. So you can see right there, Boone Road. And what you're gonna find is, what you're gonna see is you're gonna come in through Boone Road and right about here is the gate. There's a wash there. So, it's really not worth it to try to go in um, and not pay because you're not going to be able to get into Hammertown without your bracelet. And that's where all the vendors and the pits are. And the pits are open to the public and you can't walk right into their garage, but you can definitely look into the tents. So that's um, a good thing about King of the Hammers is you can go right up and talk to the people uh, working on the race cars and see some of the drivers. So you come in here. Boone Road up here it's a nice graded dirt road and right about here they make you pay there's the wash and right past this pay point to the left is a, the area right here is for big flat area um, that I recommend if you have a larger rig it's um, nice uh, soil compared to the lake bed a lot of people will, will camp right on this lake bed right here and it can be muddy and as you saw the rain earlier outside here in California um, that's going to be a mud pit right there it is closer to Hammertown because Hammertown is right here right where the P is and you will be able to get there without having to drive but if you, you have a way to unhook you know your truck and trailer obviously or you have a motorhome with a Jeep you're set if you have just a motorhome then you may want to get closer to Hammertown so so come in pay go to the left and you will see any nice spots i like to if you're going to go in i'd like to go in further if i were you get away from the road it's going to be noisy get by this mountain here you're going to see some nice rock crawler jeeps and uh you know some locals going up there as well it's a nice little hill if you have a jeep you'll probably be able to go up it no problem as well um if you're like me you're going to go in further almost straight to hammer town and as soon as it dead ends you turn left and you go up up against these mountains right here there will be signs that say no trust or uh, race in progress type thing and uh, you can't camp on that side of the sign but if you camp right on this side you're going to see the trucks come across this little trail right here and they'll drop in come through the start finish line so as you're camping you can see that and just like I talked about before in order to get to back door you're gonna have to go around uh, the hammer town and that's one of the spectator areas back door and these are the other one the hammer trails over here that are the spectator areas as well so a couple things to to do when you're in uh, obviously at King of the Hammers see all the all the uh, activities is to be camping close um, if, if you want to camp on the dry lake bed you can I just I think it's gonna be muddy and uh, you know it is there's gonna be a ton of Jeeps out there so if you get stuck I don't think there'll be a problem just wave somebody down people love to pull you out at Hammertown because I mean, these are the some of the nicest Jeeps in the world come here and not just the race ones uh, there's a ton of Jeeps and the local and as far as away as Massachusetts um, Florida East Coast and even other countries so with that I'll uh, see you out there on Monday and uh, look forward to seeing the races <laughs>